What up, this your boy Roy Jones Jr. I'm live here right now with my man, Vasily High Tech Lomachenko, one of my favorite of all times, one of my favorite fighting right now. And uh, what's up, Loma? How you feeling today? I feel great, thank you. Good to see you, Roy. Always good to see you, my brother. In your mind, what actually makes someone the greatest of all time? Sosa, Rigondeaux, Linares, which one was your favorite fight? Linares, because I go down. It's always be in your head, then you go down. The winner at 208 of round number 10, and new WBA Ring Magazine lightweight champion of the world, Vasily Loma Lomachenko. I'm Megis Klimas, and I'm a manager of few good and best fighters. Oh, you know, the first one I saw in, in, in Lomachenko, of course, it was his, his movements, his angles, speed, uh, reaction, all of that. He had everything it takes to be a good boxer.
the main guy in the team, it's Loma himself, because without him, we wouldn't be a team. Uh, I think the very second important person is his father. Anatoly takes Loma to his path where he is going and uh, what he needs to do. You know, maybe father had a dream to have his son as a champion, like Loma had the dream to become a champion. And that dream just came through to both of them. Boxing is like an addiction to us. It's something that we wake up and we live for it. Do you still feel like that about boxing? I don't know, I don't know another life uh, outside boxing, I don't know. Because all my life I train and all my life I uh, learn boxing. <laughs> you were on top of the mountain, winning for a long time against everyone, and then Lopez come along. Did you feel like you lost the fight? No, I didn't feel what I lost the fight. I didn't feel. I watched this fight on a slow motion. It was a draw. As you probably saw the second fight for the hip of Salido, I don't know if you saw it or not, 41 low blow, not even a single warning. Did Loma look the best in that fight? No, he didn't look the best in that fight with Lopez. But did he lose a fight? No, he didn't lose a fight. That fight was minimum as a draw. the southpaw in the green trunks, long layoffs of their career, but I mean, could that be a factor in why this is such a slow start here for Vasily Lomachenko? For, for Loma and um, feeling, you know, what kind of a feeling? It's just like, you know, you know, your fighter losing a fight and not even losing a fight but getting cropped. Of course, it's a bad feeling. Your winner by unanimous decision. 
And now, the undisputed, lightweight champion of the world, The Takeover, Tio Fimo Lopez! <laughs> No, I, I just wanted to tell, I just wanted to say to all the fans, I'm sorry uh, if I let you guys down. I wanted to thank all my team and I wanted to let them know uh, we're going to go forward. He's definitely on his journey. He's definitely on his journey to be one of the greatest. Um, and, you know, he will be, no, I, I have no doubts, Hall of Fame and, and, and one of the greatest. His name is going to be in a boxing, boxing history all over the place. Why is your next fight important to you? It's my boxing history. That's why it's very important for us. Because I want to be world champion again. I believe his destiny is his hard work because without the hard work what he's putting, it's not going to happen. People who come to see boxing match, they see only 12 rounds. Me, I see them training. <laughs> I see them sweating. I see them doing three, three trainings per day. Living for two, three months, life like that. You can born to be rich, but you cannot born to be the great champion to, you have to work hard, you have to make it. Мир вокруг меня один жестокий пранк И мой карточный домик разлетелся в пух и прах Слишком много разочарований и утра Даже бить до стада, ладно, бро, даже бить до утра Мои награды, это траурный мемориал Я читаю эту кулею, ты читаешь мне мораль Не шел по головам, я рук не морал И из этих мемуаров выйдет годный Ну армия душна от себя и от себя Нужно душу отселять, но я дам себе шанс Ради лучшего себя Отвечаю, жить не просто отвечаю за базар Те свечах тогда не стоило за глаза what have losses taught you about boxing, and what has boxing taught you about Loma? Life didn't finish if you lost in the sports or if you lost in the boxing. It, it's not, it's not a cancel your life. It's just a step, and if if you lost, you need to try to do one more time and uh, you need to take your goal.
Well, you know, he's a, he's the same person. He's not kind of like, oh, I became a champion now. You know, I, I. He he's a very very true man, very true man. And uh, he, the, the first day I met him, he was like this. And then uh, today, then I saw him in this interview, he was exactly the same person to me. And then I met him, you know, he was just like a, a little kid. Now he has a little kid. Standing up to this. Too tough for his own good. Loma's ankle, body work, sweeping left hand. And it's over. Loma is back. Vintage four. Well, next fight for Lomachenko, as you know, we're gonna be fighting Richard Comey, who is a uh, ex-champion uh, IBF. Similarity we have, you know, both fighters lost to Lopez. Oh, what a big shot by Lopez! And Comey is on spaghetti legs here in round two. Um, you two in a position uh, right now to seek some redemption, just like your opponent. Kind of where is your mindset and what have you taken away from that experience to make sure that something like that doesn't happen again, especially Saturday night. It's redemption time for Kome, because I still got a lot in there and I want to be a two-time world champion. Did you watch uh, Tiafimo's fight against Vasily Lomachenko? Yeah, what I were did. your thoughts on that? Well, I thought it was a close fight, and yeah, I mean, the best the best uh, uh, boss that I had, the day on the night won it, but I thought it was a close fight. But did you think Tiafimo won the fight? Yeah, I did. Win for Loma will put him closer to the championship bout. Uh, all he wants to do is just fight for the, again for the championship bouts and grab all of his belts. It's definitely his journey to be one of the greatest. Well, I believe he's already doing it. <laughs> Don't stop what he's doing. That's all he needs to do. Just do whatever he does and, and don't change anything. Don't fix it if it's not breaking. You need just one more thing. You need to go to bed with your dream. You need to wake up with your dream. When I was a kid, you was my fam you was my favorite boxer. I always follow you, and I wake up every Sunday because uh, in United States was a, a Saturday night. In Ukraine, it was Sunday morning. It was very early, and I wake up with my father and always watch your fights. 
follow you. And uh, yeah, I, I start do not regular uh, moves after then I saw you in the ring. Thank you, man. It's been great talk to you. I enjoy your career. I've loved your career since the day it started. Uh, it's been awesome to watch. I can't see, wait to see you get back into contention to become world champion again. And uh, in my eyes, you still one of the top five pound for pound, if not the top one, because a loss to me does not erase pound for pound. Pound for pound is when you can do everything. And you are a high tech, you can do everything. So you're always going to be right at the top. Thank you, Roy. Along with whoever else they put up there thank on you. my pound for pound list. So thank you for this interview. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Look forward to talking to you again soon, all right?